Hello, right, this is a um, update, number one, on Cohen's Curse Group Build. Um, I was going to do a build video, but I thought, no. What I'll do to start with you is little updates where I'm at. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I mean, you know, or a lot of you know, I'm doing the Spare Star Tiger 1 in 135th. Um, and so far, I haven't really had any issues yet. But all I've done is the turret. Well, it's not complete, but um, I'm at section 7. Um, and it's ready. Well, the the inside of it is ready for a primer, which is what I'll be doing in a minute, or after this. Um, and I've only used one bit of filler. So, I'll show you where I'm at, or how much I've done. Now the sun's gone in. Um, that's going to upset the light, isn't it? But never mind. Right. <coughs> so we've got so far... We have got um, the turret, that's two halves, I mean, it's, it's said you build each half separately um, then put it together, but I didn't think it quite looked right so I have glued the halves together first um, and then put all the bits and bobs in and sub assemblies it's quite a busy little turret inside um, so I did quite a bit of it last night also on the hangouts but uh, I think that's all Shh, hang on a minute air traffic sorry um, yeah, I think it's quite well detailed. I think that's radio stuff there, not sure. The only thing I wasn't happy with was these injector pin marks, but they're there, there. There's a few of them here and there, but we could, it's, the top's going to be glued on. Um, so you're only going to see what's there through the hatches but they are actually big enough to um, see quite a bit of the detail um, that's the top side again but I'm, I'm not sure what these are but they're there I think this is like a fission port thing fission block um, I have masked off I don't know if you're supposed to do it, but if I can get it to focus there, you can see my little bit of masking tape there. We've got the same on the top side, so um, once that's primed and painted, I can unmask them. I should do a bit of a wash on the inside as well, but um, I haven't filled these injector pins. <coughs> marks because you're not going to see them I'm pretty damn sure you're not going to see them because by the time she's glued on in place you just won't see it when you see I've masked off that little piece there as well so you've got a clear part or you can see it's clear and it should, because the inside's white, I'm hoping once it's built and painted and I unmask that, the light from the inside should shine through that, which would give it a um, uh, an effect of glass, I suppose, I hope. Um, but yeah, that's as far as I've got. I started about midday yesterday. So I've had a few hours worth, um, I think I've done quite 
quite well, considering the detail. Um, like I say, I'm going to prime that in a moment, and then um, I might may do the white, the main colour this evening or tomorrow. Then it's detail painting, colour painting before I glue the top side. Then once all the detail painting's done, just got to go around and mask off all the holes, hatch holes. Um, so, obviously I don't get any overspray or paint on the inside. And then once again, once it's all finished, just a mask it all. So yeah. Not too bad, but anyway, that is as far as I've got so far. That's been a load of jibber jabber. Um, oh, I've got my um, tiger shirt on, um, which I thought would be good while I'm building one. So, anyway, I'm going to prime that up and oh, don't even see me. And um, yeah, until the next time, I shall see you again. Okay, ta ra!